30 pubs have to close in the UK every single week. Um, and so it's clear to see that pubs are having a tough time of it. However, one man in Cheshire thinks he's found a new successful formula, a new way of doing pub. BBC Radio Stokes' John Akers has been uh, along to his micro pub. So you're wandering down Nantwich Road in Crewe on a Friday afternoon and there are plenty of hairdressers, estate agents, fast food takeaways. There are a couple of pubs, but this place offers something different. It's called Beer Dock and on the sign outside it says in big, tall blue and red lettering, craft beer and artisan ales. Is it a pub? Is it an off-licence? Let's go in and have a look. Samuel is the owner. Hiya, how are you doing? Oh, bad, thank you, John. Yourself? Just, oh, all right. I just asked the question outside. Is it a pub? Is it an off-licence? What is Beer Dock? It's, uh, it's a unique re- retail concept. It's, it's somewhere in the middle, branching, branching uh, sort of bottle beer boutique and, and a micro pub together. Uh, we, we've got 270 different ales for, for customers to, to sit in and try inside or, or to take away with them. Um, we're, we're somewhere in the middle. We're, we're blurred lines, but, but very unique and... and it's sort all of very special to, to crew, at least. So you walk in and immediately there's a big shelving unit full of ales on the left-hand side and ales then back further into the room with benches through the middle where customers can come and sit down, have a beer, have a little pot of nuts and try all the different ales in here. It's really nicely done out with the dark grey paint all around and the beer dock logo behind the counter to my right hand side there's even some merchandising on the top shelf here you've got that far and samuel you're drawn straight away as you walk in the door to this beautifully framed picture of a footballer with a program underneath it and this is your grandfather, and there's a story here, isn't there? Yeah, well, um, my, my grandfather, uh, Dennis Wigaro, he used to play for, for Crew Alex in, in goal in, in the early 60s. And uh, obviously footballers weren't, weren't what footballers are today. And he was working part-time as an estate agent as well. Uh, and the very premises, 159 Nantwich Road here, was, was his office uh, as an estate agent. Uh, I mean, well, one of the set of shelves is, was, was his desk. Um, and, and in essence, my, my father bought the building out of nostalgia uh, a couple of years ago. And we uh, banged our heads together over Christmas and, and, and thought we might as well do something with it and, and something unique. And it, it's something that he, he really would have wanted to, to happen. It's, it's something very different. So, so we, we've put Beard up together in, in the same premises, really. It's a nice bit of history there, isn't yeah. it? So what's your background? Where, where were you working before? And um, how much of a limb have you gone out on to make this work? Previously, uh, I was studying university in, in, in Nottingham. Uh, and, and post-university, uh, I was working in a pub. Uh, part time and, and then full time after I finished my degree to, to sort of make it make a living, and it, it was there that I, I got massively into to my real ales and uh, I mean we had 13 hand pulls and, and was a big beer enthusiast, um, and and so we were we were watching sort of 40 barrels a, a week go or 40 firkin sorry uh, a week sort of go throughout the pub and and, and realised the demand there was for, for quality real ale and, and for local beer and and, and for for things, uh, a different sort of beer experience than, than your average average beer and, and things that were sort of handcrafted and, and, and made by, by people instead of mass, mass machines and, and factories, really. And so that's where the inspiration came from. And you mentioned the local angle, and this first wall of beer, let's call it, when you walk in, is all drawn from fairly near crew, isn't it? Yeah, the majority of, of the stock is, is local and, and sort of sourced from within 30 miles. Uh, I mean, as you walk in straight away, you're hit with, with the Offbeat Brewery, which is, is down in Thomas Street in Crewe. Uh, Michelle brews some, some fantastic beer, and, and it's our bestseller. Uh, you sort of get on further to, to Nantwich and Congleton and, and, and Macclesfield, uh, Nutsford, and, and they're all, I mean, up to, to within halfway around the shop, you're, you're within 30 miles to, to where everything is brewed. Um, I mean, you, you hit Staffordshire as well with, with the likes of Titanic and... And, and stone, so we, we've tried to keep a, a fairly local theme on it. Yeah, just walking past all the Titanic beers here, and there's Mobbly Fine Ales as well, and Winkle beer here, uh, Wentworth Gold, Top Totty, a Slater's. 200 and how many beers? Um, 60, is it? 260 was, was last night, however. We've had a delivery in this morning, so we're, we're now 270. <laughs> um, we're, it's amazing. We're pushing for, for 400 by, by the end of August to, to offer the range to, to everyone, really. And we go around the world as well, don't we, as we walk around the table? Yeah, we, we sort of hit Wales and Scotland and, and Ireland, uh, and then, then you, you come on to your, your imported gear, and it's um, Holland and France, Belgium, you've got your Trappist Belgians, Germans, your Austrians, your Norwegians, your Americans, New Zealand, uh, and then then you come in, in a full loop really back to, to the locally produced, which is the, the cider from from Rembury Cider Co, which is is, is Rembury. 
I think we might have to do a taste test on one of the ales that maybe you recommend. So, should we go and do that now? Yeah, no worries. I knew it'd come to that. You can trust John Akers, can't you? Now, there's a man who knows his beer. Samuel in crew runs a micropub. Uh, then we'll hear what John has to say about uh, some of his beer. BBC Radio host Stoke, and uh, we were hearing from John Akers. He's uh, gone to see Samuel in crew, who came up with the idea eight months ago of starting up a micropub. Uh, business is booming, it's doing well. And uh, John Akers has been there, as you'd expect. Predictable as anything. Mind you, I'd do the same. He's been testing some of the beers. OK, so let's go and have a, a sit-down, Samuel. What have you got here? Uh, I've got the, the Out of Step IPA by, by Offbeat Brewery. Uh, it's our, our best-selling beer, so, so it's, it's only right that, that we really crack it open and, and give it a try. All right, then. You do the honours. I like your bottle opener. <laughs> Thank you. So this one's come straight out the fridge. They've got a fridge for people who want to try the beers in here. And I guess the idea is that when you walk into a place like this, and there is... There are 270 beers. You don't necessarily know which one you're going to like and want to buy a case of, or six of, or three of. No, uh, you, I mean, you're, you're a little bit intimidated by the range, if, if, if you sort of say that. You know your styles, you know what you like to drink, however, you, you might fancy something different, you might be buying for someone you don't know, so, so it's always nice to be able to sit down and, and actually try the beer rather than just take away a bottle that, that you can't see in and, and you don't know what colour or, or, or flavours it is. And this, there's no bar, so... That's just to say, oi, they gave me some more. The, there's no bar, so the bell is, is simply there for, for, for more service. <laughs> Let's try some of this then. OK, uh, so this I'm is... going to have a little sip of it. The, um, the, the Offbeat IPA, uh, it's an India Pale Ale. You can smell it, it's, it's sort of fruity and... and yeah. It smells sort of, sort of hoppy. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lovely sort of golden colour uh, mm. and to, to taste it. <clears throat> there's a, a really nice sort of hoppy flavour coming through. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit higher up the spectrum at, at 5.8%, so, so you can you can you can really taste the, the flavours in it. For um, something so high alcohol, though, it is quite smooth, isn't yeah, it? Fruity, um, as you say. A, a lot of them that, that you sort of hit the, the higher percent with uh, often are, are very good at sort of blending in the alcohol, and, and it's not that potent, and it's it's a very enjoyable drink. Um, I mean, this is, is is a great balance between the, the hops and the malt. Um, for me, it's a, a slightly more hoppy character than, than malty, but, but the balance is, is there. I've spotted someone else here in, yeah. your, in your micro pub slash off licence beer dock shop. Phil's tucking into the same as us, actually. And this is one of your favourites, Phil, isn't it? Uh, yes, it has become my favourite since day one, actually. Uh, cracking beer, local beer, excellent taste. How did you find out about the place, Phil? Basically, when he came out on Facebook, they, they were just sending the usual sort of Facebook messages out. And I came up to opening day and have a, and have a look around. And ever since, I've not stopped coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your regular now? During the day, this time of day? I mean, we're, we're about lunchtime now on a Friday. We're about lunchtime. Uh, yeah, if I'm available, it tends to be on my uh, route to and back home on foot. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I've... Uh, Gone to the habit of just calling in for a swift one, as they say. Nice place to sit and have a drink? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I'm not really a drink... I don't drink at home at all, uh, but I do like a chat and a, a pub environment, but this is in between and it's different. Uh, nice environment. Can meet people I've never met before, actually, in here and made some quite good connections who just might call in and have a bit of a chat. So it's, it's, it's the social side of it's pretty good, really. And how many have you tried so far, Phil? Well, my plan was to try... Try all of them, but uh, <laughs> the first one was that good. I haven't actually got past that one. Yet. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, Sam will advise me, and th I'm sure there'll be others to uh, to save in the future. Try and move you off that one. Thanks, Phil. How do you make this work, Samuel? Is it going to work as a business? How are you doing so far? Eight weeks in, we're doing fantastically. Uh, I mean, we're we're selling uh, approximately sort of six, seven, eight hundred bottles a week uh, on average. And wow, uh, that that seems like a lot. It is a lot. Um, is that more than you expected? <clears throat> a lot more than we expected, um, but it's, it's, shown, it's shown that there, there is a demand for it and, and the people in crew really wanted something a bit different. Uh, I mean, we had two, two chaps that travelled from West Bromwich uh, to come up and, and have a beer because they'd just seen us sort of on the internet and, and were fascinated by the idea. You've got branded T-shirts already and the, I have to say the logo is very strong if ever designed that. Have, yeah. you got, have you got plans, if this works, to take it elsewhere? Is that the dream? Well, my, uh, my father in, in 1977 went, went to America and, and stayed with some family, and, and the name Beard comes, comes from, from that very story. He, he was with his uncle, uh, and sort of around the evening time, he said, do you want to go to the Beard uh, And that was his nickname for the off-licence. Um, so it's ingrained in my father's head pretty much all his life, uh, and we named this shop. So we're, we're hoping that we can ingrain it in other people's lives and, and really make ourselves 
part part of every community and, and try and expand as much as possible and, and, and get several shops open and as brilliant as it is just being in crew uh, there's there's beer drinkers everywhere all around the country that want a beer and, and want it on offer so our, our plan is to try and expand you do realize though that everyone's not going to work for free like your girlfriend daisy <laughs> over here no uh, unfortunately not however uh, <laughs> With, with the circumstances, it was it was a necessary evil today. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you very much, John. Cheers. We wish you all the best. Beer Dock on Nantwich Road in Crewe. A place to come and enjoy beer. And if you like it, take some away too. I'll drink to that.